This is the main dot and inside material app I have the first page. Here I'm gonna change the name to web view page. Inside the body in a set of container I should have a web view widget. Now to initialize controller I'm gonna convert the stateless widget into a stateful widget. In here I can define my controller called web view controller and use it right here. It's also good to wrap it with a safe area to be able to see the page completely. Now I have to actually initialize web view and it should be done inside any state. So here I can write all the codes. At the beginning create an instance of web view controller. Then I set javascript mode and I'm gonna set it equal to javascript mode dot and restricted. Basically I need to do this because of restricted rules in some of the websites and if you don't set it and restrict it they won't be loaded. Next I need to set a navigation delegate so I need to use this class here. Basically a navigation delegate allow me to customize my web view on different scenarios like when a web page is starting, loading or we got error. As you see there are different properties inside this class and I'm gonna use some of them. First I can check when the page is loading and here I have a progress which is a type integer. The next one is on page started. This method triggers when the web page is firstly loaded and we also have access to the URL of the web page we are in. Here I can just display a message and use the given URL inside it. On the contrary of that I also have on page finished which again I can display a message to show the URL of the finished page. The next one is on web resource error and it happens when there is some error while loading the page. And again I can display a message to say there is some error here. It can be anything like network connection, javascript error or wrong URL. Next, I'm also able to deny requests for loading some specific web pages here. For example, I can create a condition to say if Facebook keyword is inside requested URL, in this case prevent the navigation, and display this message here. Finally, if a both case is not true, I return navigation decision dot navigate to allow other navigations. Basically, I'm telling that users are allowed to navigate to any page but not Facebook web page. Now we are done checking navigation delegate, so I can just load a request and display this Adobe web page. Here load request is the main method to show the web view. I can also navigate to new web pages. So here I'm gonna create a floating action button. Inside the onpress I can use the web view controller to call a new load request. And here use the youtube.com. I'm just saying when users click on floating action button navigate to youtube web page. Let me also change the color to red to see it better. Now I have this adobe web page and when I click on the button I will be navigated to the youtube.com. At the end let me bring some more changes. First inside on progress I want to show the progress of loading that page using this parameter. Next in the scaffold I want to have an app bar to display a text. I also change the text style to have a color of white, a font size of 22 and a nice font weight. Also the background color of this app bar should be red and the center title true.